Come, spend a day in the kitchen with me. We're going to do a curbside pickup. We're going to do a Kroger grocery haul. We're going to prepare a shrimp stir fry. So let's have a good time in the kitchen. Well, you know, most of the time when I have a curbside pickup and get home and it's time to unload the car, the big guy will come out and help do that. But today he just wanted to get out of the house and get some fresh air. So we're going to unload this car. And once I get on the inside, I'm going to show you all of the good goodies that I found at the store. You know my philosophy for uh, shopping, and that is, is that you always take a list. So we're back and we've unloaded everything onto the counter so that I can kind of show you what we've done. And, uh, you know, last week or so, we did our one plan, one month, and this is the one shop. So, as you can see, it's quite a full counter. And so we're gonna take a look at what we've got. We've got vegetables, we've got our celery, we've got a couple of um, pounds of butter, just in case we need that. I'm not so sure I'm gonna do a lot of uh, baking this month. I'm trying to cut back a little bit on the sugar. So I'll probably not do as much, but we're into the yogurt, trying to have two, at least two a day. And uh, so the big guy may have to go back. You can see our carrots for salads. We've got bacon. I love this bacon, naturally thick. We've got green beans and they are so pretty. So I think we'll probably use some of those in the stir fry tonight. Uh, the broccoli, you know, is gonna go in that stir fry for sure. And of course those carrots and those little uh, crowns of broccoli were so pretty. I do have some frozen, but I wanted some fresh. Now, the big guy likes having his V8 with this cocktail mixer for Bloody Marys. And uh, this particular one is um, by Kroger, and it's pretty good. We've got pineapple and apples. Those apples were on sale. <gasps> Spring rain. Oh, I love it. I love it. It is so sweet smelling. Got all three meats, a few things I was out of. I'm going to try these um, beer bratwurst. Well, we'll see what they taste like, but we'll try those anyway. And of course, you know, Italian sausage, we always need. But these, these grapes are so good and so pretty. Now, let me take you around on the other side because we couldn't see everything. Uh, let's see, we've got tomatoes in there hiding, baby spinach. Uh, we went to a smaller size of little grand biscuits. Uh, the big guy likes biscuits. And uh, like I said, I'm not doing a lot of baking. I've got my mushrooms. I'm trying to cook healthy. I've got uh, frozen corn and I got four of those. So um, I do like corn. I love corn. I've got some uh, farmhouse home style oat. Now guys, if you're not gonna bake bread, this Pepperidge Farm farmhouse brand is so good. And the home style oats is wonderful. I got a couple more bags of corn chips for the big guy, cause I think I might make some guacamole. Check out these napkins. Do they scream spring? Look at the picture I have up in the kitchen. I don't know if you can see it. There's my summer in my spring in Paris. And uh, I'll see if I can get that a little clearer, but that's going to be on the wall for spring. And when you look at this napkin, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. And there's my Triscuits. Mm -mm. The big guy had to have chips. But look, hiding in there is a package of paper straws. That's gonna be a part of my drink bar. And look at these paper straws, the green, the blue, and the pink. And they go perfectly with the napkins. They were not even close to each other in the store. But when I saw them, I thought, oh man, look 
look at that. So I see a beverage bar coming very soon to a home near you for spring. Now those tomatoes I actually got, it, got uh, when the big guy went to Costco to get his glasses repaired. And um, I picked up some tomatoes and got out of there. So uh, we are ready for the month. And this is it. Now, before we go any further, let me first of all introduce myself. I'm Leona Dooley, and this is Ebony, Ivy, and Time. Now, our family loves to cook and to decorate and to chat. You know, all of these are things that make our home warm and a very happy place. The kitchen is the hub the heart of the home, and it is in our kitchens where we love, nurture, encourage, and guide our families over delicious meals or just across the counter. Your kitchen should be the place where everyone wants to come and have a seat and get a hug. So I'm inviting you to, first of all, hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell icon so you will know every time I upload and also be sure to like the video because that helps me continue on this on this journey. Now please join me weekly here in the kitchen and see what I'm up to. I want something quick for dinner and on the days when I have curbside pickup or delivery, especially if it's a large one, and I have a lot to put up and a lot to clean up, then I want something nice and fast that's going to be hot, delicious, and done in 30 minutes or less. Now, we're preparing a shrimp stir fry. I found some delicious shrimp in my freezer, so I've taken those out, and uh, we needed about a pound and a half of shrimp stir fry. Now, you know those um, uh, fresh vegetables that we put together and that we saw uh, in the grocery haul? Well, quite a few of those are gonna go into this stir fry. So I'm going to add some uh, onions and garlic and ginger, and uh, we're gonna put in the broccoli. We're going to cut those into little florets. We're going to add in some of those green beans that we saw. Uh, you're also going to put in some uh, carrots and um, anything else that you may have. This is a great time to be able really to just kind of clean out your vegetables out of the refrigerator. But since I had already done that before I took care of the curbside, I didn't have that available. So I'm using fresh. I did add in some cabbage and um, I cut whatever I cut, I put it into larger pieces. Always do that, larger pieces when you're preparing a stir fry because it's going to cook, it's going to cook quickly, but it's going to be a part of the rice. So you're going to want to be able to see what is in your stir fry. Well, let's get our stir fry started. I'm so excited that you're here in the kitchen with me. You can see that I've cut up the vegetables and I'm just running my fingers through them. You can see the broccoli that we picked up today and uh, I'm trying to dig out the carrots that are underneath. I cheated and bought carrots that were already sliced. I've got celery and onion. I've even put in some fresh ginger and um, the only thing I haven't put in there are uh, the little pieces of green beans that I'm going to add. So now we're going to cook the rice because we need to have that done. So I'm putting in about a cup of rice. I've uh, added some water. Now what I do is that I soak it for a few minutes and I run water over my rice about five times. And I, I just give it a good stir until I get a lot of the starch off. So we've done that and uh, now I've got it ready to go in the microwave. I'm going to put it on for about 10 minutes and that should do it. So you see I've got everything set for 10 minutes. Sorry if that made you dizzy and uh, we are ready to go. So we're going to let that get ready. So I have two skillets going because you know I never do anything 
uh, one at a time. I always multitask. So I'm doing some things that for this week's breakfast as well as tonight's dinner. So um, I'm placing some bacon in the skillet and I got my wok off to the side. So we'll talk a few minutes while I'm putting the bacon in. The reason for doing the bacon is that, as you know, I try to, uh, if I open a package of bacon, I go ahead and actually prepare the entire package so that I can uh, cool it, zip lock it, have it in the refrigerator. And when I need bacon, the prep is so easy and quick. So I'm down to that last piece at this point. I saved us a little bit of time and I'm gonna get my wok nice and hot. And if you peek back there, you'll see that I have the bacon um, and it's just dripping on some paper towel. So <clears throat> once that's cool, we're ready to go. So there's our bacon. And I'm gonna take some of this bacon grease and most of it I'm gonna pour into this cup, but I'm gonna take a little bit of the bacon grease and I'm going to use that as my cooking oil tonight. Since we have it, it's no need in throwing it away. We might as well use what we have. So I'm just gonna put enough down there in the bottom just to kind of coat the bottom and get it nice and hot. And it's pretty hot already. So then I'm gonna swirl the oil around the pan because we want all of our wok to be well oiled and we want it very hot. So I'm turning, I've turned you a different way so that you can see. I placed some uh, spring onions in the, in the bottom just to uh, get them nice and golden brown and also to flavor the oil. Um, I'll do that. I'm putting the, the ginger in and a little bit of garlic in and I'm just keeping that going. Now in a few minutes, I'll actually fish all of this out put it onto this paper plate. And uh, once I've done that, we are ready to work on the shrimp. So that's what we're doing right now. Just kind of taking the aromatics out and um, getting those ready, getting the skillet ready or the wok ready for um, our stir fry tonight. You know, I've gotten so bad. Sometimes I'll, I'll pull that wok out and sometimes I don't. Now, because we have about a pound and a half of shrimp, I'm gonna do it in two batches. I want the shrimp, of course, to cook, but I also want it to get just a tiny bit brown. Now, I'm, I'm sprinkling it with obey. And I like obey. Everyone doesn't like obey. So if you don't like obey, you can certainly sprinkle this with paprika, some salt and pepper and be done. But obey has some additional flavors that just add to the seafood flavor. So that's why I've done that. And uh, so I'm gonna give that plenty of time to come together. And uh, that was the rice that just stopped. So I'm going to uh, get that out of the microwave. I'm gonna take the top off of it so it can begin a little bit of drying. So you can see that all of this is just bubbling right along. We want it to really cook. And you know, with wok, with a wok, we're using pretty high heat. So it's not gonna take long for those shrimp to come up to temperature and it doesn't take long for shrimp to cook at all. So there we go, we're ready to go. That was really quick. And that's because the wok was super hot. So I'm gonna get all of those out and then we're gonna be ready to put the others in and to so that you know, uh, this was enough shrimp to actually prepare, uh, use for two meals. I used it for this meal, and because there was so much, by the time I started to put everything together, I thought, well, I'll save a portion, and I used it in a later meal. So, all right, shrimp done. And there's our shrimp. So, let's get back to our wok, because now the fun begins. This is where the meal is going to come together in just a matter of minutes. These vegetables aren't gonna take long to cook at all. 
So we're going to, um, there's the green beans. I'm kind of sprinkling those in. I put them about one and a half inch uh, cuts. I'm sprinkling in some red pepper flakes and uh, I'm just letting everything get nice and hot. The wok is still hot. You notice I have not at this point added any other oil to the skillet. And I have a few pieces that are jumping out, so I'm just throwing them back in the pool. There we go. So I'm putting a little bit of pepper in there. And uh, if you'd like, you can add, I don't think we're gonna need any salt because we're gonna be using soy sauce. And that unless you get low sodium soy, soy then um, you may wanna add a little bit, but we're not gonna need it for this because I'm using full flavored soy. Soy, Ooh, that's a mouthful. Now, I placed the top on the wok. And the reason for that is just to hold the heat in. Now, this is some minced garlic. I had just a tiny bit in this jar and I thought, well, why not throw it in? And so that's what I'm doing. I put it on top. And the reason for that is because of the fact that it's going to, and I'm adding some minced ginger as well, even though we use fresh ginger, but I'm adding in some additional flavor just because I had it in the refrigerator and thought, well, why not? So now I have a mixture of a quarter cup of soy and I just happen to still have some bean paste. So I added in a teaspoon of bean paste and also another fourth cup of water to it and just kind of mix that up. So I'm gonna let everything get nice and hot and bubbly. Now, let me keep in mind, had the big guy been doing this, he would have done a cornstarch mixture. And I did not want cornstarch, a cornstarch starch thickener. I just didn't want that because I'm going to, rather than just stir frying the vegetables and then putting them over rice, um, I'm gonna do mine just a little bit different. So as you'll see, I'm adding in the shrimp and I'm looking as I go. And that's what you have to do. You have to mix it up, look at it. If you think it needs a few more shrimp, then put a few more shrimp in. But if you look at it and you think, oh, this is plenty of shrimp, then stop. Now I have the liquids in, I have the shrimp in, I've got the vegetables in, and wow, look at this. Mm, I wish you could smell this. Now, you know what I'm doing right there in the middle. I'm making a place for the rice. Mm, mm. This rice is about to get kicked up to another level. Now, I may have to add just a tiny bit more liquid. I'll have to look at that, but I'm just putting that in the middle. And this rice is going to, remember we, we, made, we put in a cup of, of dry rice and we put in about a cup and a half of liquid. And uh, it gave us our two cups of cooked rice. So I'm just gonna continue to fold this rice through our stir fried vegetables. And then I'm gonna put the top back on it and let it cook and let the rice pick up all of these flavors. And in fact, the rice is gonna get just a little toasty on the bottom, just a little. Mmm, look at that. That is a beautiful mixture. Look at the colors. Oh, wow, guys. Back to the top. We're gonna give it about five minutes. <sighs> it's that time. It's time for us to get everything into the bowl and we are going to eat. I am so happy because what a day this has been. We've been grocery picking up. That's what we did. We picked up. I'm trying to make it sound. Oh, be, be, feel sorry for me for a moment because I'm so exhausted. But we have picked up our groceries today. We hauled them and we talked about them. 
And now we've cooked our dinner. Mmm. This is going to be so good. It is better than anything you can get at a Chinese restaurant. I'm telling you, do it at home. It was so quick, so quick. So I'm putting, fixing the bowls. This is going to be the big guys. Mm. Oh man, look at the steam and the heat coming off of this mixture. Wow. Yummy. I'm sprinkling on a few spring onions and these are some of the spring onions that we prepared. There we go. There's bowl one. Now I'm going to take this to the big guy so that he can go ahead, say his blessing and get started. Now it's time for mine, bowl two. And I'm going to hang around for a few minutes and we're going to taste this together. And once we finish tasting, you know, guys, number one, I'm not going to have much to say. And number two, I'm going to sit down with the big guy and enjoy dinner. So let me get our spring onions and sprinkle over the top. There we go. Oh man, doesn't that look good? All right, that's for me. Let's do this. Well, I've got my chopsticks. It's nice and hot. And let's eat. Oh, yummy guys. Mmm, it is so hot. I've got to do a little blowing. It is everything I imagined. You know, because that's what cooking, cooking is all about, your imagination. You are only limited by your imagination. And once your mind gets into what you're about to prepare and you put those ingredients together, you are going to come out with a fantastic dish. So. Join me. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed being in the kitchen. Together we've chatted and accomplished so much. So if you like cooking and decorating and sharing and haven't joined the family, Please do so by selecting the subscribe button and by tapping that little bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I upload. And also, please support the channel by giving me a thumbs up before you leave. I am so looking forward to seeing you right here at Ebony, Ivy and Time, where we work hard, we love God and family. And we know without a doubt that everything else is just gravy. Have a wonderful and blessed day.